get me, you son of a bitch? Because this one ignores Jaws 3D Three. entirely. Yeah, I was reading on Wikipedia to, to form opinions. Mm -hmm. after it, the to fact. be honest, it ignores a lot of things, really, this mm. film. Um, like physics. Physics. Yeah, nature. <laughs> nature sharks, itself. Yeah. It ignored, yeah. ignored the only thing sharks. I wrote when in the first 20 minutes of watching it was, is uh, we're going to need a bigger plot. That, oh, that's all I thought. That's and that's, it's, it, it's immediately in the kitchen, isn't it? Well, it's portentous because she's killing a, sh a fish. She's killing a fish. Killing a fish. It's like she owns that fish. She is a fish it's a killer. It's to what's going to happen later. Right. And yeah. there's some gentle joshing with her son, isn't there? Well, we and do it's slightly flirty she, in a weird way, I it thought. It is, and she, she does re reveal that Martin Brody was the tomato thief of all time. <laughs> which no one knew. What? Nobody knew that. I missed well, that. Sean, what? the son, is nicking bits of salad while she's cooking. It sounds sexual. Yeah. She's like going, oh, stop so I just got, they're flirting. Why are they flirting? She's going, stop that. Put it back. Stop mm. that. I mean, you don't see what's happening. Then it turns out he's stealing bits of salad. And then she goes, you're just like your dad. He was the tomato thief of all time. Not the greatest tomato thief. No. no. Just the no. tomato thief, thief of, of all time. Will you cut that out? I can't help myself. You're almost as sneaky as your father was. He was the tomato thief of all time. There's some wonderful exposition here as well, because their granddaughter phones. And yes. she says, I know it's Thea Brody. How many grandkids do I have? Thea who? I know it's Thea Brody. How many grandkids do I have? Screenwriter's like, tick. Tick, there you go. <laughs> That's up there with, shut up, sis. Yeah, Who exactly. no, no one with a sister ever said. So, yeah, he gets his call. He goes to look at the beast of wood. The shark yeah. comes out, bites his arm off. Clean which off. Is mean. It is, and it's a, it's a quite a long, ghastly, screaming scene. Well, isn't he it? gets killed by editing because you can't see what the fuck's going yeah. on. Well, this shark him, shark him. I found uh, this opening moment of violence with the arm being bitten off quite funny. Yeah, uh, because it, it's in the same film stock around the same time as uh, Police Squad. Right, <laughs> naked gun, <laughs> and he does scream about his arm in the boat, mm. and then he gets capsized, and then screams about his arm in the water, mm -hmm. and it feels like we're going to go to a third one where he screams about his arm on a surfboard or something. It feels like just it keeps it keeps going, uh, but it, it is not edited well to make right. you care for him. So everyone's sad, and then Michael flies in for the funeral. He does, and the first thing Ellen says to him, um, <laughs> so she comes in and insists on making dinner and makes a big fucking fuss. And then she says, I want you to get out of the water. Because it turns out Michael, having been traumatised by Jaws, and we're ignoring Jaws 3, yeah. we probably shouldn't. No, it anyway. should be. It's part anyway, of the canon, Jaws it? alone. No, it's not. That's the thing. This, this film ignores Jaws 3, which oh. is why it's not called Jaws 4. He's a little kid, nearly gets killed by the shark. That's right. And what, does he, film, what, what does he do? He goes and goes sailing, yeah. as you would. And then career choice? A marine, marine biologist. Marine biologist. Marine biologist. A judge like Judge Pickles would say he's asking for it. <laughs> If we're talking about voodoo, we are. Um, many people have criticised this film because the many shark, voodoo, the shark yeah. seems to want vengeance, which yeah. isn't a thing that we've seen on Blue Planet. No, um, but this is utter bullshit. But <laughs> hey, come on! You can't believe that voodoo sharks don't commit murder. They don't pick out a person. It picked and out it... Sean. It killed your father. Dad died from a heart attack. He died from fear. The fear of it killed him. Mom, 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 mom. And then the novelization tries to justify that by saying there was a voodoo curse. Yeah. Yes, based um, on the family. But they never explain why. It says Martin Brody curse. might have wronged a witch doctor. No. How did he do that? It's, it's interesting that people seem to uh, discard this film because it seems to shift genre from the original Jaws where there was, to my memory, no voodoo. No voodoo. <laughs> but but no voodoo. I would argue that Live and Let Die does the exact same trick this film does by going to the Bahamas and having a little bit of voodoo because it's a bit of fun. Oh, if only they had a shark at the end on the plane laughing. That's the end of the end of Jaws. <laughs> it's Benches. very that would similar, have been amazing, wouldn't it? I mean, so, <laughs> suddenly Jaws is super, uh, suddenly uh, Bond has supernatural elements in the same way, and we accept that because <laughs> yeah, yeah. Paul McCartney seems to endorse it. You got a better idea, of mine? Now. <laughs> Am I wrong? Because I'm not a big Jaws uh, fanatic, you know. Jaws I'm, I'm, I'm not a Jaws head, as they, they call us. <laughs> I, I've seen the I've seen the first one. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen the second one. Yeah. Uh, now the, the shark dies at the end of every film. Yes. So how is this vengeance? This is what I've written down here. <laughs> this is, is what I've got here. She says to Michael, "It came for him. It waited all this time and came for him." Came I, for I, him Michael yeah. should have said, "Well, you mean the one that blew up was electrocuted or blew up at sea?" World? Yeah. The Brody family simply don't understand sharks. And they think there's one shark, like the Loch Ness Monster, right. and they are just perpetually confused by, by nature. How does a shark keep coming back? I feel like such a grandma. 
Um, so they then get a cab with a bloke who starts singing Nat King Cole. Merry Christmas. It's a very strange moment. Pat him in the sea. Yeah, it's like... Well, Do you think he was building his part? Yes. Do you think there was nothing yes. in the script? Yes. But also all the actors, well, oh, thank God, anyone do anything else? I don't... Do something on my driving? Well, I can... I'm very good at masturbating. <laughs> or I can do Nat King Cole songs. <laughs> could you do the Nat King Cole song? I yeah. could do stunts. No, no, we don't have any stunts. <laughs> do your singing. Go on, do it. Really good at fucking. <laughs> <laughs> then we cut to Shark Vision. Yeah. On his way to the Bahamas. And then we get a shot of the shark and you can literally see the joins. You can. I didn't spot that. On I the quite fin, enjoyed the like shot. a line down the back where yeah. it's been the Oh, they have those. Point. That's real. Is it? <laughs> yeah, they have those. Do they have and a, strings? A mechanism. Oh, like also, I see. They have all of that. Yeah, that's oh. all real. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, wow. And then Ellen gets spooked, uh, and I think we're supposed to think that she can feel the shark at this because mm. she's playing with. Um, Thea on the beach making sandcastles. Oh, that's, that's right. It's right. a brilliant bit here because she spends about three minutes just look, scanning the horizon at the sea because she feels the sharks coming. Mm. And then a second later, Michael Caine's there, like he's gone yeah. in his little rowing boat. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you weren't there a minute ago and she was looked everywhere on the horizon. <laughs> it's like he dropped out of the sky from his plane in a boat and, it, and then he starts his conquest of Ellen. Oh, quote. yeah. And then she tells Hoagie, I know it's coming. Yeah, she's, yeah. And he's thinking, hello, you both, darling. Hello, he says. Yeah, I'll be a shark if you want love. This... No, don't do that. <laughs> I'll keep you out of trouble. Isn't there a bit where she dances with her son and it becomes a slow dance? Yeah, that's later. Oh, that's New Year's Eve. God. And then Michael says the immortal lines to her: "Don't worry about your problems. The dreams will go away soon." And then he says, "Give it a kick up the arse." <laughs> yeah. Did you promise me a drink? Sharks come and go, Ellen. People have got nothing to do with it. A drink with an umbrella in it. Helen, give it up. Give it a kick in the ass. Get on with your life. What does he mean? <laughs> he means just don't worry about it. That's not, what, it. that's not what give it a kick up the ass means. And then my, uh, Hoagie dances with that and Michael, as you say, cuts in. And then Michael, and he's, he's, a, he's a bit drunk, isn't he? Yeah, he says, can I cut in? And Michael Caine goes, certainly, the world would be a better place if more sons danced with their mothers. That's right. Mind if I cut in? Please. The world would be a better place if more sons danced with their mothers. That's right. And then slow dance starts. <laughs> I guess that's bad. Depends on your point of view. And so Michael and his wife begin to argue because yeah. no one wants to take the rubbish out. Mm. And then they, you have the wonderful scene where she's welding and he says, I always wanted to make love to an angry welder. That's right. And then she says, shut the door. And he goes, yeah, whatever. What if their daughter had walked in? There's also, just above them, there's a, there's an open window. And where they're living looks like very thin, reed-based wood, palm wood and stuff. You, you, you can hear rutting. I'd have loved at this point if they were, like, having getting on. And the mm. camera had slowly panned back. And you see the shark in the water come out with the pair of binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> or he just goes up into the tap, and there he is. <laughs> yeah, 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 and does a Sid James laugh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, yeah. They don't get many of them. <laughs> you got a lovely pair there, love. But at least is that what I think it is? Uh, and then the best bit here is that Michael Caine takes her out for a meal. He does not during the shark tag. <laughs> and and he orders two banana mamas, please. <laughs> She's something I've never heard Michael Caine say. <laughs> Two banana, no, Bahama Mamas. Bahama Mamas. Two Bahama Mamas. What do you want? Um, whatever we had last time. Two Bahama Mamas, please. What do you think's in a Bahama Mama? I reckon it's rum. Yeah. Uh, sand. Sand. <laughs> Blood. Regret. The head of a dwarf. And Vimto. Hair. <laughs> Burnt hair. That's the worst ingredient in it. Burnt, Burnt hair around the rim. Burnt pubic hair around the rim. <laughs> That's what my mama looked like in Bahamas. What would you call a Bahamas cocktail if you uh, had to script edit that? Uh, um, come. Come. Just <laughs> two cams. <laughs> two cams, please. That'd be great. I'd call it a bucket of cum. Two buckets of cum, please. Two, no, one bucket of cum, two straws. Come on, if you want to make glass. it romantic. <laughs> i tell you why I've done that. It's a bloody big drink. <laughs> It's too big, in my opinion. <laughs> Son of a bitch! And he also says at this point, uh, I've got the strangest feeling, I kiss you, yeah, that's Brody. Right. She says, I've got the strangest feeling, I'm going to take out an injunction against you. But I have an irresistible urge to kiss you, Ellen Brody. But how long has it been for Ellen since... Um, <clears throat> it's probably been a while. A while. Yeah. And Hoagie. Come on. 
hoagies goes to pit. This this might account for the flirting she does with her children. She's just she's she's, she's a raver, and she and she needs oh. she needs you need satisfaction. Yeah, and he, and hoagies can hoagies the man, isn't it? I find them quite sweet together. I do. Yeah, you know, I think... It, of, it, so do I. It, no, no, I mean, by all means, you know, find them disgusting. <laughs> I, by all means. By all means. But no, I, I think, you know, if, if there's something to uh, redeem this film, it's actually the, uh, the performance of those two in scenes that don't have any sharks in. Yeah. Oh, and also we should... I, I did mention it, but he snogs Ellen. He point. does, yeah. And it's yeah. quite an old-fashioned kiss because he moves his head back and forth. He does. Even though he isn't opening his mouth. <laughs> like they used to do in the old, in the old mm, pictures. That's right. Yeah. He's probably got his foot raised under the table as well. well. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that maybe there are other possibilities. Does she genuinely believe this is the same shark? That's died before. That's died and come back and died and come back. You mm. really think she does? So she should really exorcise it. Yes. Really? Yeah. Drop yeah. a church in the sea. That's what <laughs> that was the original is. ending. Drop a that, that, that's the one. Hoagie, that's a real shame. Hoagie airdropped a church. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger church. <laughs> a minster. Gonna a need, bloody minster. Going to need a bigger altar. <laughs> <laughs> so then, yeah, they, they dive bomb, and then they all get in the boat, and then as they're getting out of the, of the, of the plane to get into the water, Hoagie's getting out, and he uh, says, bloody cold. tourists, something like that. Oh, shit. And then he shaft inside, he goes, oh, oh shit. Damn. Complain, complain. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I really like that bit. I did, because I think that's taken from the moment he found out he won the Oscar. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that shit. Time. And then Hoagie luckily survives. Yeah, yeah, because you, you do think he's a goner, don't you? And yeah. he's got bad news for Ellen, though, because the engine's broken. And he turns around to Ellen and he says, I've got a rotten hose, which is <laughs> more bad news to her. <laughs> <laughs> She'll find that on the wedding night. She certainly will. Bloody hell. But... It seems to me that the prow of the ship, uh, the boat, yeah. uh, spears the shark, and yeah. the shark then explodes. Yes. Sweet Jesus, we're heading straight for it. Come about, Ellen. Ellen, come about. Smile, you son of a bitch. Yeah. No, I, I didn't get that wrong. That is, no, what, that, is what that is what happened. That's what happens when wolves. after it had a torch in its mouth, which yeah. seemed to be relevant for some reason. But also, before that, we should say that when they let off the electric shock, the shark roars. Yeah. Put the breath on that thing. Uh, so then Ellen goes home in her plane with Hoagie, and then Hoagie says the last line of the film, which I'm very confused about. Goodbye, Jaws. He says, when I come back, remind me to tell you about the time I took 100,000 oh, yeah. to Nairobi. That's right. That sounds like a really boring story. 100,000? A lot of admin. In that yeah. plane? Yeah. yeah. How did he do that? How many trips? Took about eight years. So, <laughs> really tedious <laughs> story. So I went back, yeah. and I picked up another six. <laughs> then, I got, yeah, then I went back, and I picked up two. Two. I was expecting four. <laughs> but then I went back, and I got showed up. three. And at that point, I had to refuel. Now, that's another story. Yeah. On the outward journey, I had cheese and pickle. How many is that now? Coming back, I had tuna. Right. On the seat next to me was some corn. <laughs> and coming back from Nairobi, the fox again. Now, <laughs> at this point... <laughs> Smash 